What's up guys, welcome to this video. Um, today I want to talk about what is an edge because I always talk about it and a lot of people keep asking me questions about what an edge is and why you need it. So I wanted to make a quick video about it. Let's get started right away. So first of all, the goal as a trader is to become a consistently profitable trader. And the only way to become a consistently profitable trader is to have an edge. And an edge means that over the long run, the probabilities are in your favor and you are going to make money. Um, an edge is defined by the expectancy. So the, an expectancy above zero means you have an edge and preferably you want an edge that's a bit higher uh, a bit more above zero because you have to pay for commissions and spreads and you need to leave some room for error so that's very important but that's basically how you define an edge if your way of trading if your trading approach has an expectancy above zero uh, and it's calculated by using your win rate and your average return per trade um, and you want to do that over a, a big enough sample size because if you have only made two trades and your win rate is 100%, um, the results of this uh, formula will be absolutely useless. So you want to have a big enough sample size. I usually uh, advise people, or uh, I'm not allowed to give advice, but I usually tell people to have at least 100 trades over a few years. That's often uh, a good enough sample size to rely on the statistics so to calculate this there are some great tools online you can use all right so this is a very basic tool to calculate your expectancy i will fill in my statistics i have a 65 percent win rate on average and i make around 1.2 r which means if i risk one dollar i make 1.2 dollars then I press calculate and I can see this, my expectancy is 0 0.43, which is quite a decent edge. You can see, let's say 55% win rate and one, that's 0 0.10, which is quite a small edge. And you have to take into account that you have to pay for spreads and commissions. So this, if, if your edge is 0 0.1, that's um, way too small in my opinion. You really want to have higher numbers. So 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and, and higher. This means that uh, you will make more money in the long run and you have more room for error or maybe your edge gets weaker over time, which can happen. Uh, and you basically want to have some playroom. So that's very important, but this is how you can cal calculate your, uh, the strength of your edge. So your expectancy and that's something very useful to know, especially if you trade multiple setups, you want to know which one is the best one and uh, which one uh, is performing less so you can allocate risk accordingly. But that is what an edge is. So an edge is the probabilities are in your favor over the long run. So a big enough sample size um, and preferably a expectancy well above zero. Then we get to the next question, which is how to get the edge. And that's uh, the question that everyone wants answered because this is how you make money. Uh, and basically an edge consists of two part, like I spoke about earlier, which is the strategy and the trader that executes the strategy. Because if you have a profitable strategy, but you cannot execute the strategy, you have an edge based on your strategy, but you keep uh, making mistakes. Uh, therefore, you're, the bottom line is you don't have an edge in the markets. So you need to be on top of your game and you need to have an edge that fits with your personality. Uh, because if it doesn't fit your personality, you will get a lot of psychological issues and you will make mistakes. For example, if you get a mechanical edge from someone, the chances of you trading that edge successfully are very, very low. And that's because it's not your strategy. You didn't develop it, someone else did. And that means you don't have 
uh, the confidence in it uh, the same way you would have it if you developed it your own. My edge that I teach people is 90% mechanical. And when I teach people my edge, I teach them why it works. I teach them how it works. Uh, I show some statistics about why it works. But I also tell them to develop their own statistical edge. And that's just because of the confidence part. I know that I have a 65% win rate over time. Uh, I know that my drawdowns can sometimes take weeks or even months. Um, when I look at my backtest results, there was a period of four months that I didn't make any money. But I do know that over the long run, I can easily make 20% a year with very low risk. But if you don't know the statistics about an edge someone gives you, you will not keep trading during that drawdown. Do you really think that if you are on drawdown for three months, which can happen to anyone, I don't care what any Instagram trader tells you, it happens to the best. Do you really think you keep trading a strategy someone gave to you, even if you know it's profitable? Most likely not. So that's why it's very important to build confidence. And you do that by uh, putting in the work yourself instead of copying other traders. So how to get the edge? Um, there are certain ways of trading. You have discretionary trading, systematic trading, mechanical trading automated trading or a combination um, and it doesn't matter which way you choose because you can always build an edge it's important that you pick a way that fits with your personality uh, i trade a com combination which means mechanical method 90 percent mechanical and 10 percent discretionary the reason i do that is because uh, the mechanical part is easy to backtest it's easy to define if the mechanical part has an edge of itself um, which is harder for discretionary methods because you cannot go back over the charts and backtest your discretion it doesn't work because you will always cherry pick the best examples which is a big mistake you mistake you can do forward testing uh, which is basically making use of a simulator that's really powerful, but you still need some well-defined rules in order to make some performance statistics. So it's totally up to you. The bottom line is find a way of trading that fits with your personality uh, and test it. Test it out over a long enough sample size. Test it out on demo trading, live trading, Keep a journal of everything and keep track. And then after you have a big enough sample size, you can calculate if what you're doing has an edge. And you can also find ways to improve that edge because that's also very important. There's always something you can improve. Uh, for example, I recently noticed that during certain periods, my entries go in quite a big drawdown. Um, and some people say, oh, that's okay if I still make money, but I want to see if I can improve my entry to get a better risk reward without um, really adjusting my win rate. So that's something I'm working on right now. And I, I do have an edge without improving, but there's always something to improve and that's what keeps the game fun. And I think if you're not willing to do that, you you are in the wrong business. You really need to come up with new ideas um, about testing some things. And if you don't have that, I think uh, you're not really passionate about trading and I really should consider something else. But it's also important to keep making money in the future because you don't want to be just profitable for a year. You want to be profitable for the next 10 years. And the only way to do that is to keep improving so let's go to the conclusion to become a consistently profitable trader like everyone wants to be you need to have an edge and the only way to get an edge is to know your numbers and to know a strategy that fits with your personality so the strategy needs to have an edge and you need to be able to execute without mistakes which means you as a trader need also to be a part of the edge so I hope you guys learned a lot. If you have any questions, you can always contact me via the website, which is www.
cdfxtrading.com. Yeah, I'll speak to you guys next time.